This is Dave from Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets, and I'm here with a much overdue review of the Bonavita Immersion Coffee Brewer. And our previous favorite was the Clever Coffee Dripper, and this one's from Sweet Maria's. It's so ingenious because it is so easy to make a great cup of coffee. You just put your grinds in, put a coffee filter in, <laughs> put a coffee filter in, put a grinds in, fill it with water, and when you're done three minutes, put it on a cup, it opens up, drains all your beautiful liquid gold. Now, the problem with this um, was that it did leak a little bit, especially when you have you know, a second cup of coffee, because this silicon stopper is just gravity-based, and it is plastic, and I am a little bit concerned about leaching chemicals and estrogen-like compounds in plastics, even if they're BPA-free. So you can take a look. This one is uh, quite old, years old, and you see those little stress fractures. They don't affect the brew at all, but it is a cause for concern. I, I hear that the newest version it has better plastic, but it is still plastic, and even our beloved AeroPress is plastic as well. Bonavita came along and made a porcelain version. Now they don't have the cleverness of the Clever Coffee and it's just a manual lever here that you literally have to pull to close and then open. And this also does drip, but unlike the Clever Coffee Dripper, you can brew your coffee on top of a cup so it, you don't leave a mess on your counter as well. Now the other thing that I was concerned about with the Bonavita when it first came out was that you've got a plastic bottom, this little plastic lever here, and all these metal screws. But as you can see, almost a year of use, two to four cups a day. <laughs> yeah, I test for you really well. Uh, very thorough. Uh, there is no worse for wear. And a little bit of this coffee cleaner stuff, and I'll link to this below as well, and it looks just like new. Now, we do brew a little bit differently versus the Clever Coffee. Because it has a smaller drip opening, we find that it takes longer, about almost four minutes sometimes, uh, three to four minutes, to drain the cup after you've opened the lever. So we have a slightly um, not as fine grind as if we were going to do it with a regular coffee maker or even the Clever Coffee, because it does take that long to drain. And if you keep your grinds in the hot water for too long, you're going to get more bitter taste and not so much of a beautiful coffee flavor. Uh, so yeah, a little bit coarser grind, but besides that, we do love this thing. Uh, if you wanted, you could preheat it because it's porcelain that it keeps the heat in. We don't bother. I find that if you use too hot water, that it becomes bitter again. And that's just not the flavor, the profile that I like, but to each their own. So uh, easiest way to make a uh, great coffee have your grind set up, put a nice filter in. If you want, you can pre-warm it. Then just add a little bit of water to cover the grinds and let it what they call bloom. And you'll find it, if it's really fresh coffee, it'll degas a little bit and there'll be, you know, your coffee will fart a little bit. <laughs> After that's done, about 30 seconds in, then you fill up the Bonavita with the rest of the water that you need. And it's gonna be personal how much grind to water ratio you want, but you can play with that as well to see the strength that you like to drink. After three minutes is up, just open that lever up and then boom, it just drains for you. And then you've got your beautiful cup of coffee. So yes, this is our new favorite coffee maker for daily use. If I'm ever in a super big rush and I can't wait three, four minutes after the brew time for it to drain, I will still use my AeroPress. But you've got porcelain, you've got a beautiful, easy to clean um, and just robust system. And it's been working for over a year and we love it. So links are below. Thanks for watching and have a great morning.